Welcome back. So this might take a little bit to explain, but we're looking at MBT and we're going to uh, recap what's been going on and <laughs> oh, explain what I did wrong. What else is new? Let's keep it real, right? Because if you just saw the perfect execution of the perfect game with the perfect die results, you would think it was perfect, but it's not. So. Let's just uh, let's just move right along. Two things that have occurred in this uh, gameplay. Firstly, uh, I have made a mistake with the uh, capabilities of the defensive information in regards to the sixty-two, the T sixty-two. So here, here we'll see that we have um, it says both K E or C E, and it has uh, L E R A. Uh, numbers uh, across the across the bottom here and then if you look I think I've mentioned in a previous video that you can have these little uh, uh, colored boxes here that will tell you exactly whether or not that you have a certain level of um, protection right so you grab another chart and you look at this number and then it's going to multiply stuff out for you and give you a, a much much larger number that you would then be measuring against for your your penetration rate that would then determine whether or not the specific type of ammunition did what it was supposed to do. So in reading the rules and kind of, uh, you know, dicking around with things, we uh, misinterpreted a couple of different elements. And uh, A, uh, this was part of the problem, this K or C. Secondarily, the way the rules are worded and be my poor ability to read correctly. So let's just call it my fault for one of a better term. So um, the defensive capabilities of these uh, older T-62s is no way near as good as uh, I was rolling. And these 122, 120 millimeter uh, kinetic rounds uh, are indeed can do uh, some, some damage if we roll well, right? So <clears throat> I had a couple of errors there. So that's the first thing that went wrong. Second thing that went wrong is that uh, only the very OCD would pick up there's an SM9A and an SM9B, which has you know the big four-lettered hint ATGM, meaning that you get to fire off these spanky-ass spandrels which just kill everything, or, <laughs> you know, you've got a 14 millimeter gun, whoopee, which is why the British only have scorpions with a similar, uh, in fact, that might be the wrong scorpion. No, that's the right one. Uh, you know, a very modest, uh, modest penetration right here. Not quite equivalent vehicles, but near enough for government work. Really what these guys, I think, are intended to do in the scenario is let the tanks fight it out, then rush around at the last minute and capture bridges and things like that. So, you know, massive, well, it's not a massive mistake on my part because as, as I went back through my game notes here and looked at the die rolls and all that sort of stuff, you know, the Brits just sucked with their die rolling, number one, and number two, uh, we, we only, at the very last instant where I was starting to second guess and question myself, I was firing these ATGMs. I'm thinking, man, I'm all of a sudden the 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 the, the British are massively outgunned. It's bad enough that these uh, these T62s are almost invulnerable with this L uh, ERA armor, but they also have these spanky ass uh, uh, spandrel uh, 135 millimeter chemical uh, explosion stuff. Uh, tearing apart, potentially tearing apart the the forces. So, net all that out. Uh, I've allowed both sides to reposition their their respective BRDMs and Scorpions where they feel they would be most effectively used. Those units will not get to move this turn. They will have a no command marker. They will have one of these guys. And they will have to sit pat for, excuse me, for, uh, you know, for the duration of this particular turn, which is turn three. In the meanwhile, we're going to leave everybody else where, where they are. The, uh, the, 
the Brits have lost a tank, the Ruskies have lost a tank, and we've got some heavy maneuvering going on here. I am using rule 7.4 command span, which is going to limit the ability of the, that's the command tank here. Uh, it's gonna limit the ability of the Soviets and the British to conduct operations if they're not smart. Now, unfortunately, the command, the command tank for the Brits is the one that got knocked out. I, I, may, I may need to make an adjustment here just because you know, it's just going to foobar the scenario 100% unless we uh, we give these guys a little bit of a break. And I'm thinking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I'm thinking this guy might end up being the uh, command has been transferred to this guy. So while, while all that looks like just a huge mess, and some would call it a cluster F-bomb, uh, it's okay we can adjust and we'll adapt the narrative to it and we will uh, continue on as though it was all good. So let's leave that where it is. We will uh, continue with gameplay moving forward from here and I look forward to giving you the next update when we actually roll some dice and do something of note uh, with, uh, with MBT and the BAOR uh, scenarios that are uh, fresh off the uh, ship from China. Ciao.